Islanders, welcome back to another video. We're here at Bear Grylls Adventure in Birmingham and I'm going shark diving. Hopefully be able to take you guys along for the ride to show you what it's all about. You can do this from 10 years old. So bear that in mind for my younger viewers. Let's go. So straight through the front doors, you're greeted with this massive glass wall, aquarium fish tank style view with large megalodon shark jaws, tons of tropical fish. You can see at the top there, there's a black tip reef shark. There was 10 of those in there. There was actually three different types of shark species in there. You can see a zebra shark in the back there. There was also a nurse shark. There's loads of these little portholes at the side so if you go with a family member or or a mate or whatever then they can uh, view you from the dive as i say loads of those black tip sharks loads of military stuff obviously bear grills was in the sas so homage to that everywhere a tree with a plane stuck in it but i just could not get away from that large viewing platform for the sharks and you can come straight you don't even have to pay to get to this point you just come in and view it so there's lots of other things you can do here if uh, sharks aren't your thing. There's axe throwing, that's a Royal Marine Commando assault course. So if you fancy being a boot neck for the afternoon, have a go at that. Then there was an indoor rock climbing wall, suitable for I think pretty much of most ages. Seemed well set up, quite impressive. If that's not adrenaline enough for you, there was an outdoor zip line, which you can come out the back of a Chinook loads of motivational quotes as you would expect from bear grills and back inside there was some spiders inside and all sorts like cockroaches and large snails and scorpions and i just sat down and watched the sharks i could stare at that all day to be honest that inside your living room would be uh, pretty decent there's that zebra shark again they think she might be pregnant I'm not sure I have swam with reef sharks like that in the wild before, in the Indian Ocean. If I can find it, I'll overlay some footage. So it was soon time for my shark dive, so I headed upstairs. They call it the Shark Wreck Dive Center. Loads of uh, shark facts and rustic looking things on the wall. Quite impressive actually. So, went in, you have to do the usual health and safety. It is diving. Uh, they show you the equipment. You don't have to be a diver, by the way. You get a wetsuit, some boots. Uh, there's no swimming actually. You just do lots of walking in the water when you're there. So, for the new divers, they showed them uh, how to, all the gear. You had to run through a few drills. There's the view from the top of the tank. It's huge actually. But obviously, I didn't need to do any of the drills because I had my certifications. That didn't take long anyway, but there I am in the baby pool. There's that nurse shark, quite similar to the small tooth sand tiger sharks that we had three of them wash up in British waters. But yeah, like I say, the, sea, the temperature in there is 26 degrees. So yeah, we got in, there was three divers in the water. I think you can pay to do it on your own or with just you and a mate or whatever, but I didn't mind. But as you can see, this is their GoPro and it's not the best quality. That's inside the big jaws. Inside the water, you can see tropical fish everywhere. Some of them were nibbling my feet. I don't know what that was about. But there's that large two and a half meter zebra shark. And that thing did not want to get out of the way. I had to duck a couple of times because it would have just cracked on, I'm sure. It, it was not bothered by us at all. It's another large fish. I'm not entirely sure of the species quite inquisitive but the colors you know haven't seen sort of water like this since diving in the red sea or off australia's great barrier reef so it was ace that you can do this in birmingham city center the reef sharks didn't really come near me this footage is actually from the outside of the tank because we had a bit of a gopro issue this is back inside as you can see it's not the best quality but yeah wasn't much video taken the gear was really good that we used Top quality gear, as you would expect. Um, all size and everyone knew how to use it by the end of the demonstrations. 
but yeah what a, it was absolutely brilliant actually now i'm looking back on the footage doing this voiceover yeah well worth it i think it costs about 100 pounds to do this so takes about two hours there was gina she was one of the dive masters she was good good laugh actually I nearly tripped over that jaw once, <laughs> trying to step over it when we were walking around. So you don't swim around the tank, you just walk around it. So they give you what, like the adequate weights to get you down. It's about four meters deep. So you do have to equalize your ears, so, cause of the water pressure. But one girl did have problems and they just took their time with her and brought her up and back down a couple of times. Top tip, if you do struggle with your ears, stretch your neck or take some Sudafed, that always works for me. Anyway, this is the end of my dive now, so I'm going to do a bit of a debrief. Let's have it. Well, guys, that was epic. Ten reef sharks, one zebra shark. I saw a nurse shark in there. It was so cool. So the crack is <laughs> you're not allowed to take your own camera in there because the risk of infection, because it's such a balanced ecosystem. So those guys agreed beforehand that they'd take some videos in there with their GoPro and uh, give me the footage free of charge because I was invited along. However, they had a bit of an issue with the camera, the SD card, and then once they'd sorted that, the uh, camera itself had steamed up so the footage is borderline unusable. But they were a great crowd and I absolutely loved it. The dive itself took about 25, 30 minutes. It was uh, really good. There was a real young guy in there, I think he was about 12 years old, experiencing sharks and diving for the first time, so that was great to see. But yeah, highly recommend it guys. I took loads of footage from outside in the viewing area, which is far better than what they took inside. And uh, yeah, what a great time had. Loved it. I've been landlocked in Birmingham for two weeks uh, for work. So this was a nice way of getting in the water. So yeah, highly recommend Bear Grylls Adventure. And I'll see you guys in the ocean on another video soon. <laughs>